to stay up to date with me on everything, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. It's at JoshWRB and hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you're new because that's the best way to stay up to date with all my videos right when they come out. So I'm just down in the basement studio getting ready for the first short, Irrational Fears Volume 1. I'm super excited that I actually have a, a project that is m forcing me to finally film. I just, I've been hung up in my own head about this stuff or something. So I'm just getting all the gear ready to go. Wow, that white balance is crazy. So here's some of the tripods and lights and more tripods and sliders and cameras. I'm just testing out a few lenses as well as the slider and I'm storyboarding it right now just so I can choose if I want, you know, this shot to have a slider or this shot to be handheld or what I'm doing, you know. I hope I remember to do some behind the scenes, but I am just setting up for, uh, oh man, this battery's dying too? Jesus, everything's going wrong. Drop in gear. Here's the slider set up for uh, volume one. Can't wait, here's the tent. You'll know what all this means because you've already seen it, but I haven't made it yet. Here's some other stuff set up. I'm just getting rid of like half the stuff that's in our uh, living room right now, just because it's there's so much clutter when you have a kid, obviously. So yeah, there's so much stuff lying around and I'm just trying to minimalize everything so it's more about the short and less about all the crap that we have in our living room. Just doing some tests before the first shot of Irrational Fears, Volume 1. Oh, yeah. Number one. Our living room has never looked so bare. <laughs> this is... So these are like the cheapest LED panel lights you can get on the market. And they work great when you have a bunch of them together. But one or two probably wouldn't do it. That little adapter battery thing makes it so you can plug it into the wall. Then you don't have to worry about batteries dying on you halfway in between. Nails are painted. I'm just getting it manually because I can't trust it. I'm only going to be in focus for like this part anyways. doing exactly what I did in the blind take. Okay. Was that too soon? No, that was good. It is 12.20 in the morning. Just getting the last couple shots here. Uh, here's the setup. I'm just getting some like first person shots with the rig. It always takes so much longer than you think it's gonna take. It just gets so messy. I don't know. Like, it's not like I, it's not like I do it on purpose. But yeah, here's just everything, and that's what we used for the darkness for behind me in the last shot of the short. We just literally turned the camera around and put up this black sheet, <laughs> and that was our darkness. Whatever, it worked, and yeah. I don't, we didn't even end up using the softbox, but this light with the barn door literally came in so, just came in handy like crazy. I don't know. There you go. That's behind the scenes. Clean up time. It is noon. I've only been editing for maybe an hour and a half max, but I got a pretty decent little cut of the movie coming and I've never used Reaper before, but I just, I thought I would try it out. And I just figured out how to make like a single tone and then just added some effects to it and made it like a little darker sounding. But so far, oh yeah, because I put a whole bunch of delay on it, it takes forever for it to stop. I just kind of slapped that into this at a random moment and it ended up really working actually. Ominous. I don't know. That's what editing looks like from my view. 
So that was the behind the scenes. I know it was a little boring and whatever, but I like to see behind the scenes, so I thought you guys might like seeing behind the scenes of the stuff that we did. It's nothing crazy or anything like that. It's just a small little production in my living room of my house. I, I collect some gear and I love making horror movies and I have this channel, so I thought you guys might be interested. Obviously, if you're watching this, you've probably seen the short. If you haven't, click here and watch it now and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.